Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan, here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello. And we're here to do a review and a full playthrough of the Wheel of Fortune Bingo. Mm. Of course. Yeah. I think Wheel of Fortune, I think Bingo. Yeah, so it's, it's exactly what you think it is. It's Wheel of Fortune and Bingo. It's... Kind of smooshed in together. Yeah, um, yeah, so we're going to take a quick look at it and then we're going to do a playthrough. And then we're going to have so much fun because I love Bingo. I actually do like Bingo. Okay, good, good to know. <laughs> There's a quick look at the back of the box, but I think the best thing to do is to pull everything out, set up, and kind of explain as we go and play through. And I paid two dollars for it, and it was brand new sealed, which was a nice little bonus when I bought it. Yes. So it's right. an unwanted gift, I imagine. Someone's donated it, yep. Okay, so it comes out like this with a shaped plastic tray and just cardboard at the back. Um, this is a plastic, solid, yeah, solid plastic, and everything else is stored inside the wheel. Ah, dinner is served. Um, unfortunately, it gets a little messy in there, <laughs> so let's just pull everything out. So we have look, green cubes and blue cubes, which act as markers for marking up letters. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little slot in the middle where the actual cards get stored and they do stay in place. It's just yes. the pieces that could really use a little bag. Oh, we should probably say here's the manual. It was all folded up underneath the cards. We will have a scan of it up or down below, down I guess. Down below, not up. <laughs> all right. So and here we are. <clears throat> Cards. So you get word cards. Uh, they're double-sided, I think, from memory. Yep. Uh, they have a different, like, solved puzzle on either side. That's the card you're going to use that you need to get, like, bingo on. So basically you spin, you see what letters are there, like there's L, H, F, and Y, where mm -hmm. I've just spun. You look on your card, you see what letters are there, you put your cubes on the letters, just like bingo would, except letters instead of numbers. Yes, there's a few other rules, again, we'll explain as we go through. Um, there's one other thing about the wheel, though, aside from the fact it comes out for storage, the insert is just a piece of cardboard, and that is also double-sided. So this is the standard size um, side. This is the side we're going to actually play with today because that's the standard game. But the, it gives you a bit more, I think it's like advanced options. Kind of, it just gives you some more free plays which kind of alter the game a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and this particular hand here, which means you can kind of take something extra. We'll get to that when we go, but we're but gonna just, play- the Just the one. standard today. Yeah. Um, there's a tiny little notch that has it go in the right way with a tiny little notch on the wheel too. So the aim is to basically solve three puzzles and the first person who has solved three puzzles and has three cards wins. Yes, well actually no. Um, the one with the highest points after uh, someone finds three cards. So, so solves three cards. So technically even if you haven't solved three you could still win if you've got more points. Although it is rare. Yes. yes. Uh, we also have a jackpot card that needs to be put just somewhere in plain sight of all of the players. And the blue cubes are jackpot count, cubes. Yes, and they count as one point each. So they go in the jackpot, which you can probably see is a space on the wheel. So you could always win that. Um, they get regenerated. If you do win the jackpot, three more go back in. And there's a few spaces that have a little bu a blue cube. A, a little blue cube, which you <laughs> yes. use to add an additional blue cube to the jackpot Thank space. Thank you. Yes, I said cube and blue so many Clu times. Clube. It all rolled in. All right, so let's give these a quick shuffle. All right. Okay. Um, there's also a little edge around here that you can store the little green cubes in. We found it a bit irritating to actually pick them out though, because it's actually very quite a thin sort of gap and my fingers are long and not very good at getting in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna turn it over so I don't know what I've got. Uh, so my first card is an event hot summer evening. And I've got cheesy beef tacos. Hmm, okay. So what we're gonna do is take it in turns to spin. I think it's the youngest player. That'd be me. Goes first, maybe. I don't know, a lot of games seem to say that, so we're gonna go with it. And as bingo, since I've spun, all players then look at their card for these letters I've spun, not just the player that spun. Yes, yeah, so we have an R, S, U, and D. In fact, should we turn that so that whatever we've spun is actually <gasps> up the right that, way for everybody? That makes sense. <laughs> so we'll then have a look. So I have uh, S on there, I have U, there's an R, and no Ds. 
So I can only pick one of those letters and same for Nathan. He can only pick one of them. So I mean, I don't have any R's, I don't have any U's, I don't have any D's. I do have two S's, so I'm obviously going to pick S as the number I'm going to put my cubes on. Yep, and you can put them on every single letter. So Nathan has two S's. In cheesy and tacos. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I've only got one of each. I'm going to go with U. Here we go, little cube on top. You have to be very careful not to knock your card. So please play it on an even surface. <laughs> Definitely. Your turn to spin. Okay. Well, that was a really tiny spin. Uh, e, T, G, and M. Oh, I know which one I'm going to take in my cheesy beef tacos. I'm going to go for E. <laughs> Seems reasonable. I'm taking E as well because I have one, two, three. Now, if we spin um, the free play or the like bankrupt or anything, we'll explain then. If we don't get them throughout the game, we'll let you know at the end. What the happens? Rules for those ones. I'm sure we'll probably get unlucky and end up with a bankrupt. I'm pretty something. sure I spun it several times last time too. Yeah. Last time I played uh, C H F N Z. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go for C because I've only got one of sort of each of the C and the H. I've only got a H, so H it is. Ooh, L, H, G, and Q. I've got a G. I already covered my H. I'm going to go for the H. My cheesy has been spelt. Right, uh, so it's you your turn or my turn? Uh, yours. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Oh, I think well, the bankrupt does. and Yeah, so the bankrupt and, and the other ones only affect the person spinning, so. N, T, G, and P. Um, I don't have any of those letters. I'm going to take N because I have two of them. Now, I'm already knocking my other ones. You need, like, tweezers to sort of put yeah. them down. Well, you needed these to have been, I don't know, like, raised around the edges, which is not... It wouldn't really work, but you just need something else. It's your turn oh, to spin. Oh, Okay, sorry. At least this spins better than the, um, uh, another Wheel of Fortune we did. Mm, definitely. L, G, W, and J... Um, I don't have any of those. Gee, WJ, no, neither do I. So if you don't have the letters, too bad. Yeah, nothing <laughs> happens. Yeah. Next person spins. Well, same as in bingo. You don't have the number, too bad. Right, legs 11. <laughs> N, T, D, and M. Right, I uh, have two M's in the middle here. I'm sure I'm going to knock. Oh dear, I should knock everything. I don't have any of those letters. All right, slowly, slowly filling it in. It's your turn to spin. It? I thought that was my spin. No, I just spun it. Oh, okay. Sorry if we've gotten off track. Now we got, we got stuck there, so Nathan's just given it a nudge. So that's so. a blue cube to the jackpot space since there's a blue cube. Okay, so now we have four available. You don't there. buy vowels here. The vowels are actually already on the wheel. They are. Uh, so A, I, C, and K. I'm going to go for C. Got an I. <gasps> Free play. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... With, uh, this is called a special wedge, just like they have in Wheel of Fortune TV show. So, you specifically, because you spun that one, this is why it matters keeping track of who's spinning. Um, you get to place a green cube on any letter of your choice on your puzzle card. All other players, so that's me, um, can also put a green cube on that chosen letter, only on that one So, letter. for instance, if I chose T... And mm -hmm. I put it on T, you can look and see any T's on your card. However, I can only do that if it shows up more than once on my card. Oh. So I only have one T, so unfortunately, no matter what Nathan picks, it's not going to help me because I've only got one O, one T. It doesn't really matter what letter I pick because you've only got one of each on there. Exactly. That's I also realised that I picked C twice, so that was a waste of a turn. Did you pick C? Well, I, the last one I got, the last spin, oh. I put it on C, but I already had C because of cheesy. Oh, you just weren't paying attention. No, but I'm going to put it on Y, and okay. you don't have any Ys. I don't have any Ys. If I had two Ys, I could have also taken that, or anyone else did that was But playing. why? But, but why, yes. Alright. C-U-P-J. I don't have any of those. No. <laughs> Neither do I. A-I-L-W. Well, I'm going to go for A for me. I don't have any of those. It's your turn to spin. Ooh, another bonus jackpot cube. Blue one. R, S, F, and Y. R, S, K, I'm going to take the S. 
I don't now, know. Now, I should just mention, um, there's not a lot of the blue cubes. It does mention if you do run out of blue cubes, like if these have been collected by various people, what you have to do is then get a piece of paper, write down how many blue ones you have for your score at the end of the game, and then start using them again. Yeah. Uh, you can't I mean, run out, theoretically. No, you, it's, it's endless, but you just have to, you know, have a couple of extra items with you to keep track. E, O, S, and V. I'm going to go for I'm my take O. V. Uh, as far as where we haven't uh, an analysed it extensively, but there seems to be a fairly even amount of letters on each wedge. Mm, someone can count them for us and tell us if Nathan's wrong there. Ooh, <laughs> uh, L, H, F, and Y. I'm going to yep. go for my F. Okay. Alright, let's do two more. Jackpot! Woo! Mm. So with the jackpot, this only applies to the spinner, the person spinning um, that. So you get to take all the blue. All the blue. Why can't I say it? All the beautiful all blue the cubes. All the blue cubes from the jackpot. As we said, um, it gets reset, and then if we didn't have any left, we'd have to write the score down. So Nathan holds on to those until the end of the game. One point for each of those goes on to his total score. Beautiful. It's your turn to spin. <laughs> what sort of spin was that? The worst spin. You want me to spin again? Nah, you can take them. All right. Well, so I just realised that jackpot is actually printed in really poor print. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's actually really low quality. Just th those, um, Just those, ones. those wedges. Hmm. O R Y M B. Ooh, Yay. take my B. Taking the O. Oops, I just, just, why am I using my blue one? I just need T, Laura. Do you? I, I do. Oh, oh dear. I need a T and an R. It's your turn. Ooh, another hey. cube. Nothing for me. Nothing for me either there. Mm. No. <laughs> See you, no. Mm. No. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Another cube into the jackpot. There's an R for... Okay, so we can, we can tie now. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter at what pace you collect the cards. You just have to get three in total. Yep. Um, when we get th one of us gets three, we don't both have to. Everybody gets one extra spin aside from the person who's completed, and then you add up the score. It's your turn. Okay, so we just, someone just needs to spin a T. Now you might... Oh, yeah. There we go. So you might think there's no point in continuing when you both need the same letter, but you might still get a jackpot or something. Or the free play that only applies to the spinner or a bankrupt. Because so. if I got the free play, I could put it on mine, but you couldn't put it on yours. Exactly. So we've both completed our card at the same time. So we take all of the green ones off. Now down in the bottom right hand corner, there is a number. I've got 12. I've got 10. And that is our score for that card. So we then take another card each. So my next one is What Are You Doing? Running down here. Tim the Tool Man Taylor, <laughs> Hammer and Nails. All right, and then we proceed. So had Nathan finished his, but I hadn't finished mine, I have to keep going with the same card I had. It was only because we happened to both need the same and, letter that we yep. swapped them at the same time. So another jackpot cube. Ooh, building it up. All right, I, R, W, and X. I'm gonna go for R. Take the W. Oh, free play. Yep. What am I going to put it on? So just you get to pick any letter you want. But gonna... remember, if I've got it more than once, I can also have that as well. I'm going to go for M. How many M's do you have, Laura? Well, none. Beautiful. <laughs> so nothing for me there. Oh, yep. So we've got blue in the jackpot again. And then R, S, F, Y. I'm going to go for my S. Taking the R. Come on. Oh, free play. Oh. Uh, Which one are you having this time? I'm going to go for A. I don't A's have any have? of those. Oh. So obviously you want to be strategic when you have the free play and pick something that you know at least not many of the other players have. And if you've got more than two players, it gets a bit tricky because you think you've got it all worked out, but you didn't look at someone else's card. Mm. A, N, P, and Q. I'm going to take N because I have four of those. Is there an at an end symbol? No, so if you have a symbol, anything like an ampersand, uh, exclamation mark, or a hyphen, you don't have to cover those. It's only the letters. All right. O, R, Y, and B. I don't have any of those. I do have an O. What am I doing? I'm just standing here. <laughs> free, Ooh, play. free play. Is that my first free play? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, so... I think you'd go for I because I only have one eye. 
That would be my well, professional opinion. I'm actually going to go for L because you only have one L, so you still don't get to take it. But I have two L's. I see. You got two eyes as well. I have. Bankrupt. Oh, Nathan. Okay, so the spinner. Uh, 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 don't move it yet. The spinner, which is Nathan, must Me. remove all green cubes from the line on their card that has the most cubes. So you don't have to wipe the whole thing. Uh, so that would be the hammer. I'm just going to leave them here so I don't have to keep reaching over. But mm -hmm. I only have A and S now. Yeah, not something you really want to have happen. So. No. Mm. All right. E, O, S, and V. Hey. Uh, yeah. I've got E. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, bankrupt again. Boo. Nathan, we're going to be here forever with this game. Oh, E, O, S, and V again. Yay. Uh, that helps I'd... you. You have an S oh, now. Oh, yes, I do. O, R, Y, and B. Mm, nope. I don't have any of those. Me either. A-I-L-W, so I'm going to take the letter I. I'll go for A, because I've got two of them. C-U-P-J. Okay, I've got the U. I don't have any of those, it's your mm. turn. None for me, jackpot. Jackpot. Oh, there's quite a lot in there too. Oh. So we're about to run out of uh, cubes. <laughs> cubes. Apparently none of us can say blue cubes today. Yeah. Can we stop that? C, H, F, and Z. So I have... I'll go for my H. H. N, T, D, and M. Okay. I'll obviously go for my M since I have two of them. D, so I just need the letter G to finish mine off. Is it my turn or yours? It's your turn. Free play. I'm going to pick G. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, I've completed mine. You didn't have a G, so you can't take that one. So, I still stick with my card. Yep, and I have 10 points for that. So, I put that down. I've now got two completed down here. I take my third and final one, which is the Great Gatsby title. Right. Jackpot. Boing, 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 boing. All right, so now we actually are out of blue cubes. So, I'll just write down over here. Nathan is owed, or oh, Jackpot is owed one Jackpot well, no. point. You put yours back. So how many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just put all of your cubes over here. And I've written down mm. Nathan has eight. We have to add on at the end of the game. All right. <laughs> uh, it's your turn since I just got that Jackpot. Okay. I, O, B, and K. And an I. B. C, F, U, M. I do not have any of those. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Me either. And some more over here. L, H, oh, I've got an L. L, H, F, L, F, it's no F, L, H, G, and Q. Goodness me. Okay. Alright. Another oh. bonus one. Yep, another I, one. I, R, oh, I need R. I need an R in there as and well. It's your turn. I just need N for Nelly. And another one in the jackpot, goodness. A, I, C, and K. So, going with the letter A, of course. I don't need those, but there's oh. another cube in there. That's a nice looking jackpot over the back uh, there. Do you have an S or an F or an R? Yes. Uh, R, S, F, and Y. So, I'm going to go with... It's your turn. Y. O, mm. R, Y, and B. Mm. Come on, M. I, O, B, and K. Mm -mm. E, yes, please. Two of those. Nope. I need that N. <laughs> I don't need those ones either. Free play. Ooh, I'm going to take T. One, two, three T's. So I have an S and a H left. I don't need any of those. Uh, no, I don't either. H or S. <laughs> jackpot. I wonder wow. who's. I wonder who's gonna. I just don't know who's gonna win. Restock the jackpot. Alright, N N N. Free play. Yay. Go for N. I don't have an N, so I can't take so that. So I filled it up except for the special character. So mm -hmm. I'll put that over here. And that was nine points. That one for Nathan. And this one I got. Festive occasion. Hmm. Alright, H and S. 
Nope, but another one does go into the jackpot. All right. Free play. Woo. I'm going to go for... You really want S, right? <laughs> C. I only have one of each of mine, so, so I can't So you couldn't do anything anyway. anyway. No. E, T, V, and J. Uh, I'm going to go for E, since I have two E's. Okay. This sucks for weighing right at the end. E, T, V, and J. Yay! I'm going to go for the V. <laughs> Uh, it's your turn. Free play. Free play. Uh, I will take a H. Yeah, I got no H's, so it doesn't bother me. Free play. I'm going to go for S. Which I can't take because I do only have the one. Alrighty. Just need an S. That's L not an S. H, G. I don't have any of those. Jackpot. Ooh. All right, so I have to write mine down so we can restock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so 16. I have, let me write that down. Mm, 16. Right. Can... So it's that. my turn. Didn't you just roll that? You spin that? Oh, yeah, because Thank I... you, though, because you've just spun the S for me. Yes. <laughs> Having extra turns does not pay off. And I get one more turn. Yes, so after someone finishes all three, one more spin for all other players. It doesn't really matter. I've got an N. N. Yep. Okay, so now that I've completed my three, Nathan does not continue past that extra spin. So this card is worthless because it wasn't completed. Yeah, so what you do is tell your points. So you get the number of points from every card that you've completed and then one for any blue cubes you've, you've done as well. So I have, oh, I have. So Laura's already beaten me with just her cards without the uh, <laughs> jackpot points. <laughs> yeah, so we've got 21, 31, um, 47 for me. So I've got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 plus, plus what? Plus another 8. So that's what, 31? Uh, yeah, 31. I have won. You have. The Wheel of Fortune bingo champion of the day. <laughs> so yeah, um, it gets a bit repetitive. Especially when, you, when you're waiting for that one or two last letters and you just keep spinning and... Yes, and I don't know why, but when everybody can play off the same spin, I find it hard to keep track of whose turn it is. I do too, isn't that weird? It gets a little chaotic. Um, we should also mention that uh, that second side of the wheel has the regular free play with just the one. It also has a free play too. Oh, the camera does not want to focus on those. Um, a free play too, which is a green cube for two different letters. Um, and you obviously cover all of them still like we were doing. Same function, you just get to pick two. And that little hand one that we mentioned earlier, you can select one letter from another player's puzzle card and remove all green cubes covering that particular letter. Um, you can just kind of see through them, like when they're on top of the letters, so you can kind of see what people have. Um, and it also has some options for advanced gameplay as well. So rather than having every letter available, the spinner gets to pick one active letter off that particular space and then everyone can only play from that letter and you're obviously gonna would make the game take longer oh yeah <laughs> and you were gonna say i was gonna say you, uh, the, the spinner's obviously gonna pick the letter they need the most yes and that won't help other people um so that's just another option if you wanted to make it take even longer <laughs> it's kind of long so. it is kind of long <laughs> and there was only the two of us yes more spins more people you might actually go quicker to be honest but mm. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below if there are any other Wheel of Fortune games that aren't just standard Wheel of Fortune. Because I have a feeling there's quite a few out there. Mm. We just don't get many here. No, this is really the only other one we've kind of seen. Apart from like the traditional Wheel of yeah. Fortune we've reviewed before, yeah. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.